New at 5, talk about a crazy commute. Some people get to work not by a car, not by train, but by gondola. I would so ride that here to our Channel 2 Action News studios. Just saying, if Atlanta, you guys want to build one, I'll, I'll use it. Well, it's already working in two cities in the, in the country, and more city planners are having a serious look at this. And Channel 2's Craig Lucy now with us live from a street known for the big backups. Imagine a gondola cruising down Peachtree, Craig. It would be amazing. You know, right now, Justin, when you look at Peachtree Road, chances are you only see one person per car. People don't like to carpool. They don't like to bike. Many don't like public transit, but despite all of the major backups. So instead of looking around, what if we decided to look up? If this is what rush hour looks like, you know we're not in Georgia anymore. Portland, Oregon is a city with streetcars, light rail, walkers, and so many cyclists, there are actually bike valets. But the most unusual piece of the city's transportation puzzle, the Portland Aerial Tram. Going to work is like Disneyland every day. Many of the airway tram commuters work at hospitals on top of Markham Hill. They grab the tram from the South Waterfront District and spend four minutes gliding above ground traffic and a residential neighborhood. It's a pretty unique way to get to and from work every day. The tram is 10 years old now, but in the beginning, building the $57 million system was an uphill climb. It's not cheap infrastructure to build, so I don't think it's things that people lean to immediately. These days, people pack the trams, especially during rush hour. And the aerial tram was invaluable last winter when record breaking snow and ice threatened to freeze traffic. Our streetcar had to shut down intermittently, transit lines weren't working, but throughout the entire winter, the aerial tram never stopped operating. They were originally intended to be ski lifts. So Ray Gardner works for the company that built the Portland aerial tram. He lived in Metro Atlanta for years and says when stuck in Atlanta traffic, he'd think we should build up. Being a ski lift guy, I look at it and say, well, I could span all this. This is a Silver Queen gondola on Aspen Mountain, which claims to be the world's greatest vertical rise, single stage gondola, where the views are breathtaking and the ride is smooth. Here we go. We're starting your two and a half minute journey up to the top of Stone Mountain. In Georgia, you'll only see an aerial tram at a tourist spot like the Summit Sky Ride here at Stone Mountain. But worldwide, this is not an unusual way to get around. In fact, there are hundreds worldwide, and I took one in Hong Kong that can move 3,500 passengers per hour either way. Some American cities are looking at aerial trams or gondolas to solve mass transit problems, and a lot of those cities have asked Portland how they do it. We've most recently talked to Washington, D.C. We have to think in the third dimension. Uh, we've got to go up somehow or the other. Sandy Springs Mayor Rusty Paul has floated the idea of a gondola for this area. He also likes the idea of a monorail. But he says first we need a metro-wide plan that plots out exactly where we want to go before we decide on the best transit technology that will get us there. It may be a form of gondola. It may be a monorail type. It may be bus, light rail, heavy rail. It may be something that hasn't been invented yet. And since Atlanta is known as the city in the forest, some think it may be time we take it all in with a better view. And right now, people are logging onto our website, wsbtv.com slash vote now, and sharing their thoughts on whether they would support this idea, having a tram or gondolas running from downtown to midtown to Buckhead. The results right there, 88% say yes, they would support this. So let's see what happens. We're live along Peachtree. Craig Lucy, Channel 2 Action News.